Welcome to the mouthpiece. It's May 8th. The World Series is coming up. There ain't much else going on right now. We're going to talk about F Tops at Full Tilt Poker.com going on right now. Event number two as we speak. Event number three starts tonight, approximately six o'clock. It's a, uh, a, uh, uh, tournament where he brought play down to uh, one table to one person. Uh, I forgot what the shootout. Yeah, we're gonna talk about all that going on this month. I'll be representing uh, my own uh, full F tops event on May 12th, uh, which is Potlum in Omaha, eight or better, which I plan to win because it's one of my best, if not my best, games. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, my recently co recently completed WPT boot camp at Turning Stone in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we're going to talk about Poker Savvy Plus, www.pokersavvyplus.com. Mike the Mouth video, seven day trial, $24.95 after. Uh, we got some good new videos coming out. Uh, and we're going to talk about some up and coming World Series of Poker and whatever, anything else you guys want to talk about. Coming up next on the Mouthpiece. <laughs> Good to see you all. F Tops is underway, fulltiltpoker.com. Anybody out there, try your luck. Small buy in tournaments, $200, $300, $500 is the main event, $500. There's even a $2,500 buy in where there'll be over a million dollar prize pool. For all you guys that just can't get that itch and can't wait for the World Series of Poker and just need to play some tournaments, Full Tilt Poker's got it going on right now. I'll be hosting. May 12th, Pot Limit Omaha, 8 or better. Um, it's probably my best game. Uh, I love Omaha, 8 or better, uh, especially in the PL Pot Limit. Uh, so I'll be playing there and actually be trying to win. Uh, sometimes it's very tough for me to try and win. Uh, so I'll be uh, seen around there, and, uh, you know, things are going all right there. World po WPT Boot Camp. I just finished the WPT Boot Camp at Turning Stone. Um, was a really great experience. I want to say thank you to all the staff, um, all the people who signed up to join my course and uh, that wanted Mike the Mouth to, to, to teach them during this course. I thought everybody at the course was uh, great, great people. Uh, it was the first one of the three boot camps I've taught that actually people listened. It was amazing to where you sat there and you explained things and then you did the labs and and almost all but maybe one or two would listen. And then when they made the mistake, they wouldn't make it again. And uh, it really made me feel good. Uh, I was real happy down there, except, except for the fact that it's a, a little, it's a casino in the middle of nowhere. And you know what? Speaking of a casino in the middle of nowhere, this place is this like big casino in the middle of nowhere with this big golf course, and they serve no alcohol. Hello? Now, it don't make a difference to me because I don't drink, but imagine a casino where casinos make their living off people getting drunk and going off for all their money. A casino that doesn't have alcohol. I found this unbelievable. Uh, and, uh, and the funny thing was they have like these bars, like four or five bars all over, and there's like two bartenders in every bar. And like they have this like O'Doul's and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, sh snapples and and like uh, you walk up to the bartender he's all dressed real nice hey yeah can I have a diet snapple it's kind of funny but um, yeah I found that kind of funny that was kind of interesting uh, actually it was really interesting but other than that uh, I enjoyed it sure it says it all www.pokersavvyplus that's right Mike the mouth videos we are doing a special horse segment right now for all you horse fanatics that want to learn Hold'em Omaha 8 or better, Raz, Stud, and Stud 8 or better. Uh, we have a whole five, uh, five game segment of 35 minutes each, about three hours worth of video uh, where I'm explaining every game. I, I think you'll really enjoy this. We uh, just released the Hold'em and uh, the rest will be coming out uh, next week and the following week. And, uh, Mike the Mouth videos, I'm, I guarantee you, you'll learn a lot. Poker Savvy Plus, go down there, www.pokersavvyplus.com. Seven-day free trial. 
Check it out. Also, do, 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 internet poker. Let's talk about Mike the Mouse Week in internet poker. Well, it's official. I have won 18 out of 19. No, more than that. About 20 out of 21 days um, with my newfound outlook. And, of course, for any new people out there watching, uh, my newfound power of positive thinking. And the power of positive thinking is still going strong. Uh, the only day I lost was the day I stayed negative, and that was the day I did not want to play, which was my birthday, and my girlfriend convinced me to play. And when you have a negativity of not wanting to play, you start losing, and instead of getting positive, I stayed negative and started screaming at her, I'm stuck because I didn't want to play, blah, blah, blah. Had a negative thoughts, played for 35 hours straight, lost 100,000, and that was my own fault. Negativities. No negativities. Positive, 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 and everything will go good. I've already got that back plus, so I'm happy. I'm keeping everything back on even keel. Um, that was my mistake I made uh, one day out of the last 20, but things are going good in the internet poker world. Our hand of the week comes to you on a special hand of the week. It's nothing bad beats. It's nothing out of the ordinary. But it's a special hand to me because it happened today in a 1,000-2,000 horse game. 1,000-2,000. You ask, wow, am I playing that high? Well, I actually only had half of myself in this game, which I wish I would have had all of myself in this game because I had been doing so good. But I didn't want to risk losing a big number because I'm trying to do the right things like we've been talking about and not go off for big numbers and make mistakes. And this hand came up where... Uh, Rafi Amit raised it with a king up. Uh, it was in a somewhat steel position because there was three aces on board and I had an ace up with a two jacks in the hole. Uh, but I felt like he could have had king. I felt like he might have had a king, but there was no jack up. So, you know, I called to see how things went. Well, after I called, the uh, limp the bringing called and the limper called. So now we took four ways to a raise in stud high. Um, the four street card brought the bring in a suited card to give him three eight of hearts, brought Chufty, I don't even know what, something like a seven and a deuce offsuit, brought a ten to Rafi, and brought me the gin card, the jack. And I'm looking at ace jack. Ace jack of diamonds showing with two jacks in the hole. So now, this was a, a really good card for me because uh, I led straight on out. I wanted it to look like I had a flush draw. Everybody, the aces are dead, so I can't have aces. So I let out. Now the three eight of hearts called. Now Chufty, who I don't know what town he was in in this hand, calls. And now. Rafi with the King 10 calls. So now we got four way action, one in 2000, going to Fifth Street. Well, on Fifth Street, I hit a blank. Uh, the three eight of hearts hits a blank. Chufty hits a nine. He's got deuce seven nine. Um, and uh, Rafi hits some kind of a blank. Uh, I let out again. Uh, uh, Mad Caddy, that was the other person with the three eight of hearts. Uh, he called. Now I'm positive he's on a flush draw. Chufty actually calls here with deuce seven nine, um, which I still don't know what he had. And Rafi decides to raise with the king ten seven showing, thinking possibly I was on a flush draw, which I decide to re raise. And the two hearts come for the double. Now I know he's on a hard draw. And now. Chufty with the deuce seven nine, who I don't know what he was in there with in the first place to Fifth Street, finally folds. Now Rafi calls. Now on Sixth Street, Rafi pairs tens, and I brick nothing, and our hero uh, Mad Caddy with the three eight of hearts, he breaks. He has nothing, and Rafi leads out, uh, and I popped him because I had him on kings. I know he didn't have kings and tens. I raised it. And now the three eight of hearts come for a double, and now Rafi calls. And uh, 
Sure enough, folks, the river car come, the case ace to give me jacks full of aces, and that felt good. Now I'm begging for the heart draw to get there and for Rafi with his kings and tens to possibly hit a 10, because there's no tens out. And I bet, and the heart draw missed, and I got paid off by Rafi with the kings and tens, and I won this huge 1,000, 2,000 stud pot and it felt good. And that's my hand of the week on the mouthpiece. A good hand of the week. A happy hand of the week. A positive and happy day. Hand of the week as I rolled off 62,000 profit in an hour and 20 minutes in the 1,000, 2,000 game in which I had to share half of it with somebody, which kind of sucked, but it is what it is. Mike Madison's weight loss bet. Will he make it? That's what everybody wants to know. Well, it's going to be close. No, it's not going to be close. I have been working out and I've been running six miles a day. That is 35 minutes in the morning, 35 minutes at nighttime. I look at green salad with carrots and green peppers and cucumbers every day with a piece of chicken this big. Okay, do you guys get this? This is what they give me. This is what I get. That's my meal for the day with my two protein shakes, one in the morning and one at night. Um, I'm down to 194. I'm 13 pounds away from the magic number with 27 days to go. And uh, at my six miles a day, I plan to be by the 16th. Now, I'm going on a cruise on the 17th. So uh, I really, 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 in the next eight days, want to get this down to 186, which I think I will. Uh, that's a pound a day, by the way, and uh, don't worry, I'll do it. Um, and if I get it down to 186, 187, uh, going on this cruise, it's, it's going to be a lock. Now, people say, oh, you're going on a cruise. All you do is eat on a cruise. Well, no. I'm bringing 16 protein shakes in my bag with me, and we'll be running in the morning and at night, and we'll be eating my salad and my chicken. Okay, I am not going to lose this bet. Now, if I do lose and come up short, it won't be because of me working hard for it, but I will be looking forward to seeing my good friend, Ted Forrest, with that $100,000 brick of $100 bills doo -doo 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 -doo, lined up in front of all of them ESPN cameras, paying me off on June 3rd at the World Series of Poker because he said I couldn't do it, and y'all said I couldn't do it, and I am on the verge of losing 60 pounds in one year. But it's not 60 pounds in one year, it's 60 pounds in four months. That's how hard I worked. So that's how my weight loss bet's going. That's how my internet poker's going. That's what's going on in the world. The World Series is coming up in three weeks. I'm looking forward to a great, great World Series. And like I said before, Jeffrey Pollack, he should run for president. I mean, this guy has found a way to maximize his profits for Harris. He should get a raise. Give Jeffrey Pollack a raise for everybody the maximum they could. And no, I, I mean, hey, I'm doing that. I am saying that out of my sincerity. I am not knocking you at all, Jeffrey. I think you're a great guy. You make me laugh. You're an awesome person. Your job is to make Harrow's the most money you can. And you have found all the suckers to go for it. <laughs> Congratulations. That's what businessmen do. I mean, you should you should be moved up in the, in the in, up the scale in the, up, uh, the corporation. Okay, it's my favorite part of the show. All my good friends, all my fans. Let's hit the phone lines up and see who wants to talk to the mouth today. Welcome to the mouthpiece. It's Mike. What's up, Mike? What's up, buddy? This is Dana from sunny Arizona, Tempe. Tempe, Arizona. What's going on, buddy? Uh, not too much. I uh, actually just got back from Vegas. Got my ass getting into me a little bit. but uh, oh, yeah, That happens all the time. It does. Um, I got a quick question. Um, uh, you once said that um, you can't make a living playing tournaments unless you have a backer. Is that correct? I, I don't believe anybody in the world in this day and age can possibly survive in tournament poker unless they're getting stuck. I was just wondering. Um, That's my opinion. Why? I mean, I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I mean, before I, I used to. I used to. Before poker got real big, I mean, I used to. I used to grind out 300,000 profit every year playing tournament poker, but you had 100 players, and there was a lot of small tournaments, 
and you grinded the, the small tournaments. But now, I mean, with all this ten thousand dollar buying tournaments and so much, and the field so big, I mean, I don't, I don't see how you could survive right. unless you have a backer, unless the, unless you get hit in, upside the head, like for about a year, which some people have done. Yeah. And even then, they're all so broke. You're saying, yeah, like a few people just win one or two big tournaments and they're set for like you know they got a big. No, then they're set for like th six months because they think they're superstars and then they go <laughs> broke and then they go in the pit and they go and do all kinds of stupid things. So. Right on. Yeah, but yeah, no, tournament know, poker. Right, cool. Tournament poker is, uh, I don't even know what it is. People are chasing fame that isn't there. There's no fame left to chase. Uh, that's why the turn, the ratings have dropped so far off of TV poker. And now it's one of the, they say it's one of the reasons why they're changing the main event of Final Table four months down the road to try and up the ratings. Me, it's because they ESPN paid them more money to do it. But, uh, you know, it's not about the ratings, you know. It's about, uh, you know, they saturated the market with poker and, People don't want to watch seven people sit around the table. They want to watch certain people sit around the table. They want to watch characters. They want to be entertained, and that, that's where that. that, yeah, that's where they they blew it on poker. So, you know, we'll see what happens. So, you think there's going to be a decline in the amount of people playing tournaments? Well, I don't know. The WBT was down forty percent in the last eight tournaments on and every tournament. Oh wow! So, and I figure after they take twenty million out of the prize pool this year, just right out of the rake. Uh, I don't know if anybody will have any money left at the end of the World Series, so, you know. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Well, uh, yeah, good luck at the World Series. Thank you so much, and thanks for the call, man. Yeah. Anytime. You got it. Later. Ooh, uh, 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 hey, uh, welcome to the mouthpiece. <clears throat> How's things been going for you, buddy? Who's this? Hey, my name is John, brother. Hey, mate, John, Just, brother. Where are you from, John, brother? Uh, I am from Kingsport, Tennessee. Tennessee. What's up, John? How you doing? I've uh, been doing fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Just wanted to, to ask a few questions. We are starting a, um, of course, there's no gambling in Tennessee, but an elite poker tour group here mm -hmm. and be going to be giving away a seat to the World Series of Poker. Right. And my question is, do you or does a lot of the professional poker players ever uh, like help, not sponsor, but – Send memorabilia uh, to to the groups uh, because, of course, you know we're all poker players. I know that I want. Yeah. Um, my, my... Listen, why don't you, if you want uh, something, uh, some signed uh, stuff sent to to your group or something, uh, send something at my MySpace uh, URL Mouth Poker, uh, and okay. I'll, I'll 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 have that I'll have something sent out to you. Okay. Well, I really appreciate that. I actually uh, my nickname. Where I play is Mike the Mouth Jr. <laughs> okay. So I'll know so, who you are, and I'll, just, uh, I'll send out a couple of uh, signed uh, some cards and stuff uh, for you. Actually, I'm already on your MySpace, but oh, okay. I'll send you a, a quick message and uh, just to say hey. Just say and, I'm the uh, guy that called call your show so I know who you are. I appreciate it, Mike. You, you have a wonderful it. day. You, have, you too, man. See you, bud. Yep. Bye. Welcome to the Mouthpiece. This is Mikey. Hey, Mike. What's hey, up, man? Mike, it's Jim from Arizona. Jim from Arizona. How you doing today? Not bad, man. Number one fan, about 20 years old. So here, I'll start early. I won't give you a hard time. 20 uh, years old. Been playing online poker for a couple okay. years. Okay. Now I've got, I've, I got the online thing down. You know, I've been reading books, you know, about my whole life. That makes one of poker. us. At least somebody's got the yeah, online sure. thing down. No, I, I can't. I, yeah, I, I, got, I, I actually, uh, I've actually got, I, I've actually figured out uh, I'm doing online I'm playing the games that I made millions of dollars playing my whole life, and now I'm being very successful. So things are, things have been well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I, I try to mix around my play, and I'm trying starting to get the hang of it. I mean, I don't have it down, but I'm getting the hang of it. And you know, about a year from now, I'm be able to play. I'm not able to play here in Arizona until you're 21. Yeah, I've I know. Anywhere I'm able to play. So I've got a question for you. What do you think I should do until I'm 21 to get my game going? So I don't want to walk into a poker room and you know uh, well, see the fish. First the of all, crowd. you don't want to. Yeah. Uh, first of all, are you making money online? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm on full sale. I got over $10,000. So, in there so right how now. about you play your your 40 hours, 20, 30, 40 hours a week, make your money online, take uh -huh. your girlfriend out, enjoy your life, and when you turn 21, uh, decide what you want to do with yourself. You know, it's a big it's a big step into the virtual brick-and-mortar game that it is online. So uh, it's okay. a totally different game. You know, you'll find... Uh, You'll find yourself, uh, it's a very, uh, uh, not as fast of a game, 
Uh, everybody right. takes time making decisions because everybody has real money in their hand. Uh, right. People are, can look at each other. Um, there's, a, there's tons and tons of chip tells with the way people throw their chips in, the way they react to their cards. So it'll be a whole different world for you when you come in a virtual world. So, you okay. know, enjoy yourself for the next year and, uh, you know, make money and, and uh, don't let the downsides of poker take you too far down because uh, uh, yeah. that's what most people do. You got, don't, play, don't, play, don't play so high where, where, where you, you take losses and it starts to make you just miserable because poker's a yeah, fun okay. game. You should I, never I, be miserable. All right, and I got one more question. Have you ever read The Zen of Poker? It's a poker book. Mm -hmm. Kind of like about, it's a decent book. I mean, I, I just read that book, and my game has gone from, now, you know. You know honestly, I've never actually read a poker book except for one book, uh, and that was What's David that? Skolansky's Beginning Limit Hold'em, and that was when I was first learning how to play. Uh, okay. Other than that, uh, I did read, I'm sorry, I did read Barry Greenstein's advanced book when I was uh, in jail because he sent me a copy <laughs> before it went to print. Uh, right. and uh, and uh, basically just... he, he talks about what my weaknesses are and that was money management and game selection so and and how to avoid those pitfalls so uh, okay. that's about it so pretty much pretty much when I start playing you know and I get out of the virtual world just you know start low don't start too high and uh, yeah you got to get comfortable you're gonna have to get comfortable um, okay. it's, a, it's a tough transition there's very few online players that have made that transition uh, right. and that, that's a thing that a lot of people, online players, think that they're so good and they're better than regular players and blah, blah, blah. And the thing right. is, is there's, there is a lot of great uh, online players that, can, that mm -hmm. have made great transitions into virtual poker. But, mm -hmm. but, I'm not, but maybe 2% of them, 3% of them have, can, can mm -hmm. make the transition. The rest of them can't. So it's a tough transition. But the ones that have made the transition are really good players, and there's a lot of them. Yeah, that's why I wanted to know. Like, I want to get all the knowledge I can before I jump into it and make that transition. Yeah. All right, yeah. man. Well, thanks for the call. Call me anytime. Right, and uh, and uh, take care, man. Make money. Keep making money. All right, I will. You too, man. Later. Later. Mike the Mouth on the Mouthpiece is here. Uh, who may I be How speaking? How are you doing, Mikey? Adam What's from uh, Plymouth, Mass. Who's this? Adam from Plymouth, Adam, Massachusetts. Adam, Plymouth, Math, Massachusetts. Yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. Uh, question for you. I'm actually coming out there in a couple months, and uh, I've been playing Limit for a long time. All right. Um, I've been starting to read a little bit of Harrington and uh, Phil Gordon on No Limit. Now, Harrington's a great I was book. wondering, do you teach, and what are the going rates out there for taking some No Limit classes? Well, me, I don't, I've never taught, I told anybody, they ever asked, do you want personal lessons? I tell people it's 2000 an hour, and you've got to be willing to, 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 you know, put in what you want to learn, you know, how much, you know, I, I'm not going to, what my knowledge of, of teaching, uh, no limit hold them as far as like, like tournaments and live, I mean, I have tremendous knowledge, so, you know, I could teach anybody anything, but, uh, I know that sounds like a big rate, but that's uh, for my time is worth so much money, and I play such high stakes that uh, it, it wouldn't be worth my time uh, for less than that, really. But, okay. uh, but as far as making the adjustments from limit to no limit, uh, it will be a lot easier for you to make that adjustment than it is for people that go from no limit to limit. It's, uh, it's actually uh, way more easier. Yeah, I've been I've been playing a little bit online actually, and it's yeah. uh, just a little bit harder to trigger to pull the trigger when you don't want. Well, the, the, the thing is, in limit, where, in limit, you're always three betting and you're always isolating, and in no limit, you're 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 playing very few hands, uh, you're trapping and you're trying to set somebody up for one major pot, you know, and uh, that's why the limit the no limit players are struggling so much in limit because they're used to playing that small, waiting for that one hand type of deal, and. Uh, and they don't understand and limit. It's all about the extra bet and 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 uh, folding to the extra bet. So that's why they're struggling. All right, Mike. Thank you very much. Hey, you're welcome, it. buddy. Call me anytime. Take care. Later. All right. Bye. Welcome to the mouthpiece. Merry Christmas. Can I help you? <laughs> hey. Anyone there? Hello. Yo. Welcome to the mouthpiece. This yeah. is Mike. What's up? What's going on, man? Uh, got a couple questions for you. Wait. Who am I talking to? Sylvester from Mass. Sylvester from Massachusetts. All right. What's That's up? Right. All right. Uh, 
Meanwhile, our air conditioning has popped on in here while we're in here, so now I can't barely hear you, but you can talk anyhow. Ask me a question. You can't hear me? Uh, hang on a second. This might take a second. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you now. I don't know. Is that what they're going to do too? It's four months later and it's going to be on pay-per-view? Oh, that doesn't shock yeah, that's me. That's what I heard. It's going to be pay-per-view. Well, why not? Well, why would they give us any revenue? Okay. Don't get me started. I think they're a bunch of greedy <laughs> But you know what? God bless Jeffrey Pollock, executive of the year. If I, if I was Harris, you should get a raise a hundred times over because you have absolutely figured out the maximum how to extract from all the poker players and maximize your profits for Harris. God bless you, Jeffrey Pollock. I, I'm serious. I like you. I'm telling you, man, I, I'd, I'd give you double your salary. You're so good. You know, but uh, no, that's a true story. Uh, anybody that can, can, can find a bunch of idiots that, to let them get away with they get away with, Jeffrey Pollock should be like, maybe he should run for president of the United States. I mean, he's, no, he's pretty good. No. All right. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of uh, that not giving anything back to the players. I mean... They're going to rake about $20 million in juice, and then, uh, I mean, they even took the Tournament of Champions away where they were giving back $2 million. Uh, they just, I mean, you're going to get, we're going to get our $5 food coupon. I'm expecting that. And not even go to $10 this year. I mean, who knows? And then, uh, and then 10, you'll get your $10 food coupon, and that'll be your hamburger and fries, and you'll have to spend an extra $1.75 if you want a Coke with it. So, uh, basically, they really don't give you anything. Well, hey, Mike, um, what's up with uh, your support at Full Tilt? Uh, <laughs> wow. They, 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 they freeze my account, and uh, they asked me to send in some things. I, I send them uh, my credit card and my statement, and it's been a week now, and my account's still yeah, so um, and they won't respond back. I'm, 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 not, I, I'm, I'm not really able to say anything right now. Uh, yep. Right now, actually, I've actually, myself, have had problems reaching support in which I was able to reach them 24/7, seven, seven days a week, and uh, mm -hmm. and lately I haven't had a return message from them in like seven days. Uh, so right. uh, I think the dropout of e passport day and uh, all the stuff going on with money, trying to get money in and out, has caused tremendous uh, work down there, and, and they're struggling to get back to people. And I think it's just an overload yeah, I, of things. I understand that with the withdrawals and everything, but right. I mean, they just they just up and froze my account a week ago. Yeah. For no reason. Um, and, um, well, my friend had a I mean, problem now, yesterday. A my friend had some kind of problem, and they did get back to him. So that's a good sign that they're getting back to people. So why don't you uh, send another email, see if that works. If not, hit me up on Full Tilt, and I'll see if I could do something for you. All right. All right have a good one, man. Thanks for the call. All right. You too. All right later. Welcome to the mouthpiece. What's up, man? Hey, I don't hear you. Hold on. Hey, Mike, I got a couple questions. Yeah, well, well, hold on, hold on. I don't hear him either. Hello? I think my battery's going dead on the stupid thing. Hold on. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be? Well, you're all ass are so stupid, it might be. Hello? Yeah? Well, I hear you, but I, I think this thing might be a little loose. I have a guy that runs this doesn't know what he's doing. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, I hear you good, too. Hey, what's going on, man? Is this, are you, are you live? You're not live on the radio right now. What are you doing? Are you doing no, we're, we're live on the on the camera, not on the radio. Okay. Yeah. I, I, this is the first time I see you in my space and got this. Hey, I was just curious about, you know, I see all these, uh, and I, I was also going to ask you, what, what, should, what can I look for you? for in the future here recently or, or near future where, where I can see you but um, I see a lot of like advertisement like the World Series full tilt um, they have some amazing commercials you're part of them like how much like how much money does that stuff kick down to some players obviously probably more than others I mean does it pay buy-ins no um, no like no, no. Really no it's nothing like that uh, I don't know where everybody seems to be getting some misconception that uh, the full tilt stakes the whole world in per tournaments but uh that's, that's i don't a, i don't know i have no idea but no. I, just, um, I see that they have everything they, they, they're really there's team full tilt and then there's everybody else and everybody else just basically has a, whatever they have and you know there's really no sponsors big sponsorship money out there to get right now 
Until the, the yeah. Unlawful Internet Gaming Act gets overturned, then mm -hmm. things will change. Until then, there's just nothing really out there. You know, that's why I tell people all the time that are chasing fame. There is no fame to chase right now until the Unlawful Internet Gaming Act gets overturned because without the Internet sites, you know, the Internet sites built poker. Nobody, when Chris Moneymaker won the World Series, that, that, that built poker into what it was. Uh, God bless I'll Chris Moneymaker, yeah, by the way. I, Thank you, God. That's when I started becoming a, thinking I was a hero, you know? <laughs> right. So, <laughs> poker. Uh, so that's basically, you know, it right now. It's uh, poker's at a, at a crossroads um, where it's going to be fine. But it's going to be a little bumpy in the next year or so, and I think, uh, I think as long as that <laughs> McCain don't get in office, we'll be all right. But that's my opinion. I mean, that's my opinion. I, uh, I, uh, I uh, strongly uh, am, uh, which I have been a Republican my whole life. I am strongly think that Obama is a good guy, and I think he'll. Be good for well, I gotta go. I gotta go with uh, Hillary on that one. But anyways, what am I? Hillary, you want a woman running this country? Jesus Christ, she'll cry when things get bad, like she did two months ago. Woo! I love this country. Please, we had enough of the Clintons. I don't hear you at all again. I've lost you again. Hello. I still hear him over here. Well, you hear him over here, but I don't hear him over here. So one of your things. Up. Anyhow, thanks. For Thanks for the call, and uh, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Nothing dead. Dead. I have Deadsville here. <laughs> Deadsville. Okay, Deadsville. What, this battery's on the shit. I just changed it. Well, I'll change Can't see something. It's still on. I don't care. It's still on. What's going on? I don't know. Hello. I don't hear. Shit. Hello? Oh, sh Welcome to the mouthpiece. Hello? Hello! Welcome to the mouthpiece. It's Rick Fuller, Mike. How are you, buddy? Welcome to the mouthpiece, Mr. Fuller. What's going on, my uh, compadre of, of uh, where the fuck were we just at? Turning Stone compadre? Got a question for you. Okay. How many idiots are there in poker? Well, about 99% of them. What else? You and I both know that. I want to know what you think about a guy who gets it all in against a good friend of his when he has a flush draw, and then when he hits that flush on the river, he slow rolls that MF'er. Well, you know, if like they're real good friends, like, like, like real good friends, yep. I think it's great. If they're like acquaint that? acquaintances, I don't think it's so bad. Because, you know what, like, if I was playing a three-handed game with like, I, with like Helmuth and Daniel, and we got it all in, and on the river he flips up two pair, and I'd be, I'd be like, mmm, yeah, that's pretty good. But no, it don't beat a flush, and I would needle him. Because <laughs> that's how, but that's how we play. We love to needle each other and have fun. That's right. You know, but that's a lot different than, let's say, if it was... Uh, me or you. Like, me and you are acquaintances. And we're friends, but we're not, like, we don't call each other every day. We're not, like, best of friends. Like, if you were to do that in a, in a cash game to me, I, I would find it offensively. Okay, but if you're somebody that's real, like, a good friend, I think it's, uh, I like to bl make my good friends bleed. I think it's funny. Is there nothing better in this life than watching your friends suffer? Or oh, what? nothing. That's why, that's what's so great about playing Chinese poker, because uh, cause Chinese yeah. poker is just a game of complete and utter torture. So when you put the royalties on them, you really get to just give them the old <laughs> needle right up the <laughs> and they And that's just, there's no much more fun than when you're running good in Chinese against your friends. I mean, that's just great. That's right, buddy. Yeah, so. Good yeah. times, good times. Uh, hey, you did a, you did an unbelievably great job at the boot camp this weekend. Thank man. you, buddy. All the reviews were fantastic. Everything was great. Thank you, man. And I look forward again to seeing you. And uh, whenever, when are you going to be down here in town? I will be there June 5th for the month. All right, man. Give me a call uh, before you come in town, all right? Sounds good, buddy. Later. Take Wait, care. Is that Rick Fuller? Yeah, that's Rick Fuller. Ask him why. Is he still on the line? He's still on the line. Ask him why his caller ID comes up as Charles Fuller. That's, probably that's his, my brother. Who's that's that? his brother, you idiot. Oh, that's his brother? That was that important that you had to ask that? I just thought maybe that that was his real name. <laughs> 
Oh, well, yeah. And he calls himself Rick. Oh, well, nice try. And thank you. My cameraman is an idiot. All right, Rick. Thanks for calling, buddy. Take care. All right. Talk All right. to you later. So, anyways, that's about it. Uh, as you all know, uh, we'll be here next week, and then I will be going on a cruise the following week, so there won't be a mouthpiece that following week. And I'll be letting you know how my week in online poker goes, how Poker Savvy Plus goes, how my weight loss bet goes by the end of next week, because it's very important for me to come in here next Thursday and tell you I'm about 187. And I'm not going to lie. If it's not, I'm going to be really pissed. But uh, for all you out there, I mean, there it is. I mean, there ain't much left. There ain't much left. Fat Mike is gone, never to return. To even think I weighed 241, I'll never know. That's about it. I hope you've enjoyed our show here at the Mouthpiece this week. For Mike, the Mouth, Mattiso, and my crew. We'll see you later.